All right, welcome back to TCG Love with more Doctor Who. In the last video, I opened the first two precons, Timey Wimey and the Blaster in the Past. And today, we will open the other two, uh, Masters of Evil and Paradox Power. And we will do the same as with the last video. I will open both of these and I will see if they are worth the buying price. And I will do that by uh, trying to sell all the singles in there separately and seeing um, if they add up to the buying price, both of those go for 50 euros by now, 50 bucks. So that's what we aim for. And the last two went pretty good, actually more than good. Um, timey Wimey was twice as much as I paid for it. I don't know if I make, uh, I will make that money back, but um, it's gonna be definitely worth the buying price. I'm sure of it. Uh, so, before I open uh, these decks, I will tell you about the giveaway. I will be giving away these six collector booster packs. And they are sponsored to me by Games Island. Um, that's the site where I buy all my products from. They sent me a collector booster box for free. And I opened that in my first video. I opened the first six boosters. And since, um, since I got sponsored, just because you guys are supporting me all the time, I will give away half of that collector booster box to you. In a little giveaway, I will do the giveaway at the end of the set and you can win any of these booster packs. Um, so yeah, that's um, thanks to Games Island. I have a link, uh, affiliate link in the description if you would click that to really help me out. Um, the way you participate in the giveaway is by leaving a comment under this video and you will claim these coins if, when you do. And these coins will help you with the giveaway. The more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning. You can check one of my uh, older videos, older giveaway videos um, for how that giveaway will work. And yeah, leave a comment, claim these coins, and then you need to subscribe to me publicly to participate in the giveaway. And um, then good luck to you. So again, thanks Games Island. I really appreciate the sponsorship. I really appreciate the free, um, the free products that they sent me with each set. So if you guys want to help me out, support me, click the, check the link in the description. Uh, so Games Island knows that you come from me and check Games Island out. Um, it's my favorite site. Products there are usually the cheapest I found anywhere else. So uh, yeah, that, check that out. So I will go through the deck afterwards. I'll leave it for now here. So we got some plain chase cards and a sample pack. And I will open the second uh, deck quickly and then there's going to be a, a short cut and edit. And during that edit, I will put all these cards up on card market and see how much they sell for currently. And then we will see if it will add up to 50 bucks or not. A little bit sad butchering all these uh, commander decks, but I will be keeping a whole full set of them. For myself to play and so I as you as you saw I have multiple I have multiple um, copies of the set so there's a few I can sell so we will sell each single card that is worth above 30 cents will they add up either of those to 50 bucks let's see quick cut here all right I am back I put every single card up on card market that is worth above 30 cents from each deck and for Paradox Power, I think, yeah, this is Paradox Power. Uh, these are the most valuable cards. On top are the ones above a dollar, below uh, below dollar, of course. Uh, the most expensive card is Carpet of Flowers, which goes for 7.99, 7 euros 99 on card market. Return the Past is 6.98. Stormcraft Coast is 6.19. Dream Root Cascade is 3.99. Fiery Islet. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Is 384. Sisterhood of Karn is 347. Confession Dial is 332. Me, the Immortal, is 279. River Song's Diary is 278. Danny Pink is 249. Uh, Waterlocked Grove is 249 as well. Uh, Root Bound Crack is 239. Flatline is 217. Quantum misalignment is 199. Uh, impending flux is 199. River song is 197. The flux is 178. 
Uh, also good, operation double is 159. Wait, I think, yeah, 159. Uh, ponder is 159 as well. I think I skipped the line. Either way, ponder is 159, cursed mirror is 159. Uh, Preordain is 119 and early query tower, which is in both decks, is one dollar and nine cents. And then we have a bunch of cards that are below a dollar but still above 30 cents. And there's a lot of them actually in all of those four pre cons. They will probably drop below 20 cents at one uh, pretty soon. Um, but yeah, they are still above 30 cents, so for me, they are sellable. They are not in order, by the way. The, the first ones were in order, the last ones didn't. Both commanders are like 80 cents. And that's that deck. So, if all of these cards, for the current price that I put them up on card market, would sell, I would uh, sell them for 93.81. 93.81€, uh, which is, again, pretty insane. Um, almost double. Uh, this deck cost 50 bucks. Well, you can get it for 50 bucks. Actually, I paid less for them. I paid for, like, I, I bought sets, right? I bought four, uh, four pre-con bundles and actually bought four of them. So four times four, that's why you see on my desk um, 12 pre-cons. And I paid 157 for each uh, set. So that's less than if I would buy them separately. So... If I would buy them separately, it would be like 210 bucks, right? I paid 157, like three decks for 50 bucks and one deck for 60 bucks. That's 200 and 210, yeah. So either way, but if you buy it separately, you get you can buy it for 50 bucks. And if you would sell them again, you would get 93 bucks back. And of course, disclaimer, this is really um, soon after the release. So these prices will definitely adjust sooner or later i am never gonna sell these for uh, these cards for 93 i will probably have to lower the prices in the coming days but for now that's how it looks like so it's pretty insane i think this is the most insane commander decks value wise that i opened and um, let's start let's go with masters of evil the second deck uh, the master multiplier is the most expensive card this goes for five euros 59 cents then we got snuff out nice reprint one, eight uh, 49 haunted rich 799 storm coast 619 doomsday confluence 489 uh, fiery islet is 384 vashta nerada is 379 cyber conversion is 369 lightning reefs uh, 314 cyberman squadron is 299 shipwreck marsh is 289 uh, am I correct? Yes. Drowned Catacomb is also 289. Then we have Ashat the Lone Cyberman is 274. Wound Reflection is 264. Uh, Propaganda is 259. Blink is 249. Ensnared by the Mara is 198. Uh, Weeping Angel is also 198. Then we got a bunch of 179s. Fetid Pools is 179. Uh, Dragon Skull Summit is 179. No, actually, Cult of Scarrow is 178. Canyon Sloth is 139. Talisman of Indulgence is also 139. Um, Blasphemous Act is 129. And Reliquary Tower again for 1 euro and 9 cents. All right. And a bunch of cards that are also sellable, but below a dollar. Some of them 60 cents. Most of them 39 cents. There's a bunch of cards, 39 cents, I don't know why. A bunch of masters, day of the moon, delete. Very cool artwork. Well, the artwork is okay. That's what you get for putting a live action show into Magic Gathering. Uh, both commanders again, 80 cents, I guess. All right. How much would I be getting if they sell for the current price that I put them up on car market? Right now, I would be getting back 109 euros 95 cents. More than double for that deck. So again, pretty insane. Um, again, prices are inflated, but yeah. Definitely, definitely worth it. Even if the prices will drop this, I think uh, 
there's no way that I lose money on these commander decks. Um, of course, if I buy more of them, and I want to buy, I think, I want to buy four more, four sets more, because I want to make a video with sample packs, and I want to keep a set as well for me. Uh, Alright, so let's see what Master of Evil sample pack is gonna give us. We got Romana the second, and as foretold, I don't remember this card. I should know every card now since I opened all the decks. Anyway, Romana second, and as foretold, and this, I don't think they are worth anything if I don't remember them. Let me check quickly. Romana, I, I, extended art. Just a non. Oh, this one is worth something. 284. 2 euros 84. I'll put it quickly in my list. Bam. And as foretold. Quickly check it on card market live here is a dollar. Let's put it also there, I guess, above a buck. Boom. Alright, so these go, these are also sellable. Go on top of that. So now we have a total of 113.79. And let's check what Paradox Power gives us in the sample pack. Can I open it carefully? Or can't I? Okay, whatever, let's open it again. Alright. We got Osgood again. And everybody lives! Holy shit! Holy shit, this must be like 30 bucks. I think. Uh, let's check Osgood uh, first. We pulled something nice there. Extended art and foil. Um, everybody lives. That must be in quite a penny. That's the most expensive card of any, I think, of any pre-cons. So Osgood Operation Double in foil goes for eight euros. I don't like non the non-foil goes for two fifty. Extended art the foil goes for eight. So that's why I see how I can see that the price are a little bit inflated. I'm gonna put it for five bucks. Let's say five bucks for the foil extended art Osgood. I'll put it for five bucks in the list. And let's check everybody lives extended art foil. Everybody. It's not search for right? Nah. Oh man, search for would be insane. All right, extended art. It's already 27 bucks and then foil is 44.95. I will put it up for that. <laughs> I will put it up for that amount. I have no clue how often I have to lower it until it actually sells, but I will put it up for 44.95 euros. That's gonna give you guys <laughs> some nice coins in the top corner. All right. Oh wait, these go here, of course, not there. Uh, nice pull from that sample pack. That was a nice pull. I'm happy. So what is the total for Paradox Power now? 143.75. Damn. Oh boy, oh boy. Am I gonna recoup a bunch of cash that I lost with Alts of all drain with this set? I hope so. Uh, okay, so I put up all the cards. Uh, you have a link in the description to my Google Sheet where you can follow which cards I will I am selling, so as, as, as soon as the card sells, I put it up in the Google Sheet, I mark it as sold, and I tell you also how much it sold for, and then you can see the discrepancy between what it is right now, what I put it up not right now, and when it actually sells a day or two or three from now on. Um, so yeah, everything is in the description, All everything is documented, um, how much I actually make back, sell the cards for, so yeah. Those are every single precon we opened now, and they're all pretty insane. I am glad that I bought a bunch of them, and I think I buy a few more. And I will keep a whole set, and then I'm gonna blink it out with all the collector booster boxes that I will open. I'll just put uh, all the search foils into the precons and bling out the decks, and then I'm gonna play some in my local game store. It's, it's gonna be fun. Alright, so that's that for the video. Again, 
Uh, if you want to claim these coins, and there should be a bunch of them, I'm not gonna calculate now how much, it just says how much. Uh, if you want to claim these coins, leave a comment, and then these coins will help you with the giveaway. I will be giving away these, well, I'm already repeating myself, uh, these six collector booster packs. So if you want to participate, collect the coins, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and turn on public subscriptions on YouTube. Then you're gonna participate in the giveaway, as long as you commented under enough videos, I guess. And um, yeah, subscribe, leave a like, uh, press the bell icon thingy, uh, so I get some um, algorithm preferences there. And also check the link in the description to Games Island, the sponsor that uh, gave me some a collector booster box for free, which is part of the giveaway. Click the link in the description, it really helps me out. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two videos. The next video is going to be uh, collector booster openings. And I guess that's all the future videos are going to be collector booster openings. And let's see how many more serialized cards we're going to pull. I already pulled one. Uh, there's still no definite price on that one. On the 13th Doctor serialized. But yeah, let's see how much that will sell for. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next uh, video. Peace out, guys.